Today's topic. I'm Lucas. I'm Alex. And um, we are buddies. Buddies slash friends with benefits with like yeah. a asterisk, maybe see below. Could it lead to something more? I just want to point out, you see how we're sitting in this chair? Oh, uh, yes. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, possibly. I haven't talked about it. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't really talked about that. About stuff. Uh, with time, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. You go first. Ladies first. All right. What are the terms of this relationship? Whoa. <laughs> Probably uh, should have should have thought about this. Um, we uh, like each other. We have to be friends still, and then like we have sex sometimes. <laughs> we have sex sometimes, yeah. We haven't set boundaries yet. No legal documents. Yeah. No inside. contract. Y'all not friends with benefits. Y'all just messy. That's it. You guys haven't discussed how this is supposed to go down. You guys haven't discussed boundaries. Whether or not y'all allowed to see other people, what those rules of engagement are. You guys are just, you guys are waiting. You guys are waiting for this to blow up in your face. We'll yeah. make the rules right now. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Should we like tell the other person if we are sleeping with other people? Yes. Okay. 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 There's a little then... bit of a look there, but that's okay. <laughs> no, but okay. Yeah. Then like. Okay, yes. No, that's good. All right. That's a good. Good Number first one. rule. So they're discussing the rule in front of everybody. That's the first time. Okay. This just speaks to the realities like, People Most people out here f***ing and don't know what they're doing no. or how to talk about it. Like you say, they're as progressive as I want or whatever. Most people are not having good conversations. No, they're not. It. Even me when I was at that age. We didn't talk about that shit. Yeah. Most people are not talking about it. And even today, at this age, people, whenever they want, they're talking about this shit, they're not, they're not, they're not listening. Or if, they want to hear what they want to hear. In front of a camera, they'll say whatever. Or in front of their friends, they'll say whatever. They get behind closed door and you find out they don't do any of the shit no. that they're talking about. There's nothing worse than friends with benefits where one of them clearly wants to date the other. Yeah. Yeah, she wants to be in a relationship with him. Yeah. Yeah. He's the one who says it. He's like, man. Eh. Yeah. We haven't set boundaries. Are we allowed to um, have feelings? Yeah. We're allowed to have feelings? So. Okay, yeah. okay. That'd be cool. weird if Are we allowed to have feelings? Yeah. <laughs> hey, right on the money. Are we allowed yeah. to talk and express about that? Yeah, kind of stuff? I think it's better. <laughs> it's better <laughs> I think that it's way. It's better to have open communication. It's better that way, yeah. Um, if we find someone else that we like, we should probably communicate right. that. What would happen if we got pregnant? We would have a really heavy conversation. He was trying to find a kind of way to say, abortion! Coat hanger! <laughs> he was just trying to find a good fact. Yeah, we would have a long conversation about consent and how being an adult is going to be very difficult considering there's no love between us. And the, abortion! <laughs> That's what that was. We know what what to do, right? And I, I mean, I know. I, I, would, I would want to Any do. way I can help? Yeah, sure. You're just going to support. I'm going to support... Definitely favor the not having kids yeah. right now. Yeah, absolutely. Option. Absolutely. Like 100%. <laughs> what would you do? I probably would, I would probably have an abortion for sure. If that were to happen, would your relationship end? I don't think it would end it. I don't think so. I know. Maybe it would just be like, all right, like we've proven that we're irresponsible right. in this realm. <laughs> so right. let's just be friends without benefits maybe. Yeah, but experiencing that could make you like maybe closer. Right. But it's also kind of oh, stop, shocked. Stop, stop. So maybe it's not the person. Yeah, kind of sick. On the count of three, stop. name who likes who. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. She said maybe losing a baby could bring us together. You are living in such delusion. God help your soul. Get out of the whatever, whatever this is. It's not good for you. Okay. You are not ready to do this. This is not for you. You're not someone who wanted to be friends with benefits. You're someone who settled on being friends with benefits when you didn't get what you wanted. And it's sad to watch. Mm. And I'm not saying this to mock you. I'm saying this because it's sad. This is very, very sad. Yeah. And one day you're going to watch this back and rewind and be like, I said this. But not only were you cringy, but you were cringy on the internet for everyone to watch. And I feel for you, girl. I feel for you. Except everyone got their cringy period. Even me. But you know what? Back when I did it, we only had flip phones. Nobody knows. Nobody. I'm taking it with me to my grave. But Boo Boo, you just said, maybe us losing a baby will bring us closer together. What the fuck? Nigga, 
maybe losing a baby will bring us closer. Nigga, what? Whoa. <sighs> Ugh. Mes amis. Nigga. That's people like that. That's sad. Yeah, that's still a thing. That's so sad. Oh. It's gonna be okay. It's not. It's, I promise you, it's gonna be okay. Okay, there's plenty of other white dudes out there. They don't have mustaches. They think like Asian girls. You're gonna do better. <laughs> Believe in yourself. Are you afraid of commitment? <laughs> I would say yes and no, honestly. How so? I think I'm afraid to commit to the wrong person. Of course. Which I think everyone Aren't can we all? relate, right? Yes, I'm afraid of commitment. Have you slept with someone else since we've been sleeping with each other? Hooked up, but not slept with. Like, smooch Rooney. The way she was <laughs> looking at us. No, no, she was bracing herself for impact. That's the face I do when it goes sucking the soul out of my dick, and I need to hold on for dear life just because I'm like, tsunami <laughs> alert! <laughs> like, smooch Rooney okay. type of thing. Who was it? it yeah, hiding that discontent. Let's go. The fact that you called it a smooch Rooney doesn't make it cuter. It does it. He he knows that humor smooths everything over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the door. But she's not having any of it. Yeah. Who was it? Yeah, the only way to survive in this world was that kind of mustache to be funny. <laughs> it was a previous Tinder person from like six months ago. They've moved to Taiwan since. That's very random. Is that, yeah. So you were like hooking up to say bye. See you never. <laughs> See you never. Yeah. Cool. No, it was amiable, but. From Taiwan, huh? <laughs> My man's got a type when he does a smooch room. He likes that faux salad. No, it was amiable, but... Would you have fucked them if they initiated it? Man. Maybe. Would you have told me? Oh, she's not. Ooh, she's not having fun. She's not. What you said? Would you have told me? No. But he can't say that because he don't want to yeah. seem like a douche. I would have told you if you would have asked. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> That's a no. She would have I mean, I would have told you if you asked me about that thing that you didn't even know, know about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo. It's like, hey, man, who would I ask? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, uh, I have a... Just like, did I steal $100 from your purse? Yeah. Would you have told me? I mean, if you would have asked, how the fuck would I know if you didn't tell me? Because I would have... I'd catch you. I mean, you know... Maybe you got superpowers, you know what I'm saying? Smooch a Rooney, baby. Who's more attractive, me or the person that went to Taiwan? You are more attractive. She's not even picking the cards. It's just, yo, let's go on that. She needs to know. Yo, listen, I brought, yo, that was a good one, cause cut set up. Who's more attractive, <laughs> me or the bitch you never gonna get the fuck again? <laughs> Cut. Yo, yo, you'd have to be a fucking idiot or the nigga with the biggest balls to answer this any other way. Yeah. What am I gonna say? I'm gonna I say know. no. You can say no. <laughs> you have to be truthful or you drink, so. I would say yes, physically, okay. yes. Okay. You're also just like much more enjoyable to hang out with Why, as well. You. So. What are my three worst traits? Yeah, I'm not, not, not doing that. <laughs> what about me? Triple booking yourself. Yeah. When we're supposed to hang out. I feel terrible about that. <laughs> you look so uh, awful. I, triple booking yourself? Okay, that means that this man is treating her like plan C. All right? If Cindy's not down, and if the bitch is not going to Taiwan, oh, she's going to Taiwan? Hey, what up? But everybody said yes, yeah, so man. he's like, whoops. If a man consistently... Oops, Rooney. Let me tell you, if a man <laughs> consistently triple books himself, and then he flakes on you last minute, he's not into you whatsoever. No. Even as a friend with benefits, no. he's treating you like a... Like CBN. friend C with benefits. Right? There's friend A, B before you. Like, I hate it when people do that to me. I hate <laughs> that when I do that to people. But yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I apologize. Sorry. It's okay. When are you going to introduce me to your parents? Hey, Mom. Bitch, why? Hey, mom. There's a girl I fuck sometimes. Why can't I be your significant other? Why can't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I did this whole fucking video so I could pop this question. Why can't you? Uh, I'm gonna take a shot of the shot. Yeah. All right, nice, nice. <laughs> Why? Why won't it work? I don't have the answer for that. What are all the things that could go right if we decided to commit to each other? 
Wow, that's a beautiful question. <laughs> it's a beautiful, it's like flowing. <laughs> yeah. Um, what could go right? Endless opportunity. Just a beautiful relationship where we're like mature and like we were friends before, <laughs> you know? It's like we didn't just right. meet on a, on a dating app. I think there is something kind of novel about that mm -hmm. where it's like you just met like how humans met, you know, for the past 10,000 years or whatever. There's something noble about meeting not on an app, but I'm gonna fuck the girl from Taiwan though. I'm gonna just say this. This is the cruelest thing he could have done. Up until now, I'm like, bro, you got you, 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 you your, your hands are clean, you're good. But you gotta know how much she's into you, how much more she's into you than you are into her. And you say that, exactly what she wants to hear. Ooh. But you know what? I'm not gonna judge either of these two, live your best lives. I'm just saying this can't end well. Could you see yourself falling in love with me? <laughs> I haven't been in love, so I don't know. Even like the concept of like the one and then falling in love. Like I've loved people. I could see myself loving you, yes. But you wouldn't fall though. No, I wouldn't fall. I think I'd feel similarly. I don't think I would fall in love with you. <laughs> like I would head over heels. Maybe. Yeah, head over but heels, like, same terminal, yeah. Have love for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How was this experience? This was awesome. It's great. No, 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 it's sad. No, it was... humor's fantastic. Humor has a great way of making the difficult stuff palatable, but there are times where you just need an honest, straight conversation. These two need that shit badly. They need to have a real talk, because that is going to end terrible. That's like being on the interstate, looking to your left, and watching a bus with a clown on its fucking front bumper. <laughs> on fire, driving in the wrong direction, and just going 120 with a bunch of kids in the back. Bitch, you know you about to watch Twisted Metal happen right in front of you. It is sad. We got the Twisted Metal reference. Did you? That, oh, definitely. Because that's an old game. The clown with the bus? Yeah. Come on. That's, a, that's an old game. Yeah, but that's... It's a classic game. That's a classic game. That's a classic game. I never played... And every time I, I never, saw him, I, never, I knew somebody was going to die. I never played that game. Damn. And I got the reference. I'm like, is this an old nigga reference? No. Well, there's, a, well, there's a lot yeah. of young people who are not going to know. Yeah, they're not going to know. Yeah, so, you know. But, but Twisted Metal... Classic game. I didn't play the game, but I knew the reference. That was my favorite driving that's, game. That's Twisted Metal for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come but anyways, on. all this to say, man, it's just, if you guys are going to do the Friends Benefits thing, have the conversation, okay? I know it might be difficult. It might be complicated. I know, okay? It's awkward to, you know, negotiate terms of sex and, like, have these candid conversations. But trust me, when things go south, you're going to be grateful that you talked about it. If she gets pregnant by accident, well, at least you guys have discussed it so you have a point of reference and you won't be blindsided when this happens. You still might, but at the very least, you know you did your due diligence, okay? Cover your bases. Talk about how you would feel if you saw them with the other person. Be honest with yourself and be honest with them. Because... When Woo! shit is the fan. People ask me, yeah, but how do you have best friends with benefits for so long it didn't end up? We had conversations after. Because I fucked it up before. I didn't want to fuck it up again. So just having those talks makes it a lot easier. So that's my advice. She's in deep. And he thinks and cracking a joke is going to solve everything. It doesn't solve everything. At some point, you're going to have to talk about it. But yeah. whatever. Yeah. Someone says they so obviously like each other. No. He, he is not into her. Cooper, he's not he's not that into her. Oh my god, people really can't see what's happening out. No, they no they can't. He definitely wants to be with her just following her vibes. People are not that smart. Common sense is not that common. People really think Yeah. He she's afraid to commit to the wrong person. Yeah. And and he's he's the one that really wants to fall in love with her. He's like, yeah, he's, he's something he's, else. He's really into her. He really wants to be with her. And but while he's really, really into her and he likes her, he's exercising his options. And he's hiding it from her. And he doesn't feel bad about it. If you like to light it to yourself like that. Yeah, people don't know what they're trouble. looking at. They don't know what they're looking at. That man's living his best life. All right, he's in decent shape. He's out there. He's getting legs. He's going to keep going. Yo, you know, people have no idea what they're looking at. But anyways, maybe you guys saw it completely different to me. Maybe you see a cute couple. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. How? How, Sway? Where's Ja Rule when we need him? 